I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. <clears throat> so Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Seven of Wands, and it's with Judgment. Now, the Seven of Wands, with this card, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation, that you come out on top, things should be going well, you should be feeling good, any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately, but... It's actually, it's actually the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you could likely help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it points to being independent and thinking for yourself. Now, it's a judgment which can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too hastily. And if you're prone to doing such things, it can be a sign to slow down, give things more thought, maybe give people more chances. It could be a time of fundament fundamental spiritual awakening. So, the recent past energy between you and your person, Cancer, Seven of Wands, clarified by judgment. So what I'm getting is that for a lot of you Cancers, you wanted to win a connection. You wanted to win, a, win this person. You wanted to be the last man or woman standing. Yeah, you wanted to win. This was someone that you really liked. Or someone that you like. Yeah, because that's what he's doing. Seven of Wands, a card above the word pass. He's the last man standing. He won. And that's how you felt or feel about your person with this recent past energy. But it's with judgment, though. For some reason, something must have happened because the connection, it became, well, it started to be a make or break situation. Your person, they had a hard time forgiving you for something that you did or you said. And they started to jump to conclusions about you. And you know, they, their decisions were made really sharp, really hastily. And they became very judgmental towards you. Jumped to a lot of conclusions and it just, it caused a make or break, period, in the connection. But you wanted to win. You wanted to win them. But something happened. What did you, I don't know, what did you do, Cancer? Or was it them? But it's, I'm getting for most of you, it was you, or just something. I don't know what it was, but you wanted to win this person. But they, something happened and they just started judging you really harshly, harshly. And then it, it, they started to just jump to a lot of conclusions about you. I don't know if they saw something or... I don't know what happened, but let's see if we can get more clarity by taking a look at the rest of the reading. So let's move on over and see what's coming up for the two of you. we got the Ace of Swords, and it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Swords, it can indicate a new beginning in some sort of your, in some sort in your life, possibly on several fronts. Sometimes a new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a relationship, from a situation. 
just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be underneath it all is actually good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go where you need to be yeah it could mean that you're ready to start something new now it's with the eight of pentacles eight of pentacles points to necessary effort you could have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished dedication to the task is important but if you let it work for its own sake that can be counterproductive so you gotta be clear on what you're trying to accomplish strive for balance no one can or should work all the time now the eight of pentacles it can indicate a very hard work period Yeah, because if you look at the Eight of Pentacles, it's the card below the word present. This man, he gets, he gets up before sunrise, and he starts working non-stop, all the way to nighttime. And he goes into the nighttime still working, as you can see in the picture. And on top of that, it's raining. The, huge, the raindrops are huge. So it's a heavy, it's a hard working period with this Eight of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be a negative thing, but you do have to be prepared for it. So coming up for you and your person, Ace of Swords, clarified by this Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, I get it that a, a lot of you, like I said, you wanted to win this person. You wanted to win their heart, maybe. I don't know what happened. But they start to see, maybe see you in a different light. And it looks like you still want to win this person. It looks like you might go into overtime trying to fix things. Just work really hard to get things back on track. Yeah. So you realize this, there's certain things you need to cut out to try to get this fresh new start with your person. Because right now, it's at a make or break, the connection. You realize there's certain things you gotta stop doing maybe. just to try to fix things and you know that you got to put a lot of work into it just to try to win them back a whole lot of work so let's move on over let's take a look and see what's coming up yeah we got the lover's card and it's with the two of swords the lover's card is actually associated with the astrological sign of gemini the twins it's possible when you get this card in a reading, you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. And it's saying when you get the lover's card, it's safe to choose love. Because it's a time when love is brought to you. In big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this is either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding on an old one. Either way, you'll be quite happy about how romance is going. Now, Lover's Cards with the Two of Swords, which tells us that your partnerships are likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person and if you're not it could be that it's time to bring things back into balance but this does require a lot of open communication so your challenge cancer lovers cl clarified by this two of swords so yeah like i said you it looks like you're going to put in a lot of work and effort just to 
bring this person back or to change their mind or just to get forgiveness. You know there's some things you need to stop doing. Maybe that's whatever it is you feel like you need to cut out. It could be one of the reasons why they judged you so, so harshly. Um, but the challenge is that you feel like this person is your, is a strong soulmate here. You feel like you're dealing with a soulmate. And it's, it's starting to feel like they're slipping through your fingers. A strong soulmate or a twin flame is what you get with the lover's card. Yeah. Wow. It's with this Two of Swords. The Two of Swords can be about avoiding. It can be about blocking. So, I'm not sure if your person is mad. I know they're being judgmental. I know that they're jumping to conclusions. Could be about things that are not even true. But it looks like they, they're avoiding you with the Two of Swords. Yeah, then you might feel like they're blocking you also. You feel like this is your soulmate or a twin flame. And it feels like they're slipping through your fingers. And you're willing to put in a lot of work to fix it. So let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Ten of Wands and it's with the Five of Swords. Now, the Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard and see if there are any ways that you could lighten your load, either literally or figuratively, because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden you're carrying emotionally actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. Now, it's with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life in general, maybe about a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word you're feeling and thinking either. Because this could ruin the things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. You have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's about picking your battles. So your outcome, Cancer, Ten of Wands, clarified by the Five of Swords. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that... Yeah, it's starting to feel like the relationship is difficult. Yeah, you're starting to feel emotionally drained. Yeah, it just feels difficult now. So you might start to feel angry. Because the Five of Swords is a man running around with two swords in his hand. He's scaring everyone. He's scaring everyone in sight. Like there were people sitting there. If you look at the Five of Swords, it's a card below the word outcome, there were people sitting there at that campfire, and then when they saw him, yeah, everyone scrammed, they ran, and those wolves or dogs in front of them, they just now getting a gl glimpse of them, and they're, um, they're about to scram also, so yeah, it's just starting to feel difficult, you feel like your soulmate, your twin flame is slipping through your fingers. You feel like you could lose them. The connections that'll make a break, they're not offering forgiveness. They're mad or you're mad. For the most part, for most of you, you're mad because it's just starting to feel too difficult to deal with realizing that you could, you, you could lose your person and you're trying to do things to fix it, but either your person is too mad to forgive or you're just mad because it's not, whatever you're trying to do to fix it is not 
It's not helping. It's not working. Because they're blocking you. They're avoiding you, Cancer. So that's a reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended others reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there, stay strong, take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, or it could be a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So, Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.